Thanks, uh, Kerlock. Um, leader, a debate that's uh, taken place in other parliaments um, around the world, most notably in the United Kingdom, in the Scottish Parliament, um, in the French Parliament, is the concept of um, debates around long COVID. Uh, and that's what I'd like to ask for today. I think at some stage in the next couple of months, it would be really useful to have the Minister for Health in here for a debate on long COVID itself. It's something that is uh, a total new entity. It's something that uh, we do and do not know much about. And what I would like to hear from government is to say, to the best of our knowledge, using the best science and the best data that's available to the top health professionals in this country, what type of a strategy or what are our views around long COVID? Uh, I think the sooner uh, we can, it's difficult to define it, I'm not asking for that, but I would really like to know what are we putting in place to deal with cases of long COVID? Because I know we can all come in here and give anecdotal evidence and different bits and pieces and what, but I would love to know what is the actual data in the HSE and in our hospital systems in terms of long COVID and what plans and what are we trying to do to put in place uh, as a government uh, and as a country to deal with long COVID as it continues on. I think that would just be a really useful debate to have. We've had so many good debates over the last two years about COVID, about uh, the whole aspect of it and this is the next stage of the pandemic uh, and of the world that we find ourselves in. We are very much back to normal as a country and that's great. Uh, we're this is what living with COVID is. It's exactly what it should be. But I would love to have a greater insight and a greater debate as to what uh, long COVID looks like, what the government and what the HSE view long COVID as. Uh, and I think if we could schedule that at some time in the near future, uh, it would be a useful debate for all of us.